Life for the man who tried to assassinate President Ronald Reagan 35 years ago has progressively become more normal, with greater freedom outside a psychiatric hospital. According to the Associated Press, the life John Hinckley Jr. is building comes with conditions. He must live with his mother for a year, and only after that can he live alone, with roommates or in a group home. His mother has been his most consistent companion. He treats her to dinner occasionally at Ruby Tuesday and takes her on scenic drives. He also volunteers at the local Unitarian Church who welcome him there. By his own account, it appears he has been looking forward to living permanently outside the hospital for some time. According to court documents, he said, it's really refreshing to be in a group of people who aren't completely out of their minds.